Hello Cancer, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 3rd to the 9th of May 2021. So without further ado, I'm going to pull your overarching oracle card, um, your tarot card actually. I'm using the Tarot Grand Lux to pull your overarching energy this week, Cancer. So many tarot cards in this reading with an oracle card at the end. So what do we have for Cancer, please? Angels, spirits, guides. What is the message Cancer needs to hear the most? Okay, your card has flown out. We have the Queen of Swords, card of Libra, generally for me as a reader, male or female, if it's a person. Okay, let's pull some cards and see what we get, Cancer. So I'm going to pull three cards, as you know by now, and then we clarify, go deeper into the message. And it won't resonate with everybody, so just take what resonates with you as always. Okay, message for Cancer, please, angels, spirits, guides. Message for our lovely Cancerians, thank you for the week 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. What does Cancer need to hear the most? Starting with the challenge position, please. Thank you, Nine of Wands. The moon and four of cups is your near future outcome. Let's clarify, go deep into the message. For cancer, please, angels, spirits, guides. What do we have for cancer? Thank you. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Cancer? Thank you, Angel Spirits Guides. 3rd to the 9th of May, 2021. Message for our lovely Cancerians. Thank you. We have the star. The star, lovely energy there. Um, the moon is clarified with the five of wands. The Queen of Cups is clarifying the Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have Judgment. I'm going to clarify this Queen of Swords. Can we clarify this overarching Queen of Swords, please? Angels, Spirits, Guides, thank you. So I have the Nine of Pentacles here. I'm going to pull one card for that. And we have the World. Um, you know, I'm going to start here. The challenge position is even though you don't see the end in sight, you're closer than you think. And perseverance, determination, it's almost kind of like there's one thing to go, one obstacle to go, one hurdle to overcome, and then you're home dry. That is what you're being told with the Nine of Wands. It is a testing energy. It's been a testing journey. But you've come so far, and Spirit is recognising that, and wants to bring you blessings. You know, the star is a card of divine wish fulfillment. Your wish, your hope, your dream, this is about dreaming, um, is closer than you realize. You are absolutely doing the right thing. If you were doubting this, if you were doubting that you were on the right path or you'd made some wrong decision here, the message is no. What you are doing, what you are putting your time and energy on, this is absolutely the right path. And if you continue and persevere, you will receive the blessings that the universe wants to bring into you. Yeah, the star is a card of hope, faith, renewal, renewal of self. And um, staying true to yourself as well, you know, because she is all about truth, that celestial being. So it, it feels very beautiful. This is about stay true to the journey that you're on. You are one step away 
and it feels from receiving blessings. There is a message of perseverance here. I'm going to pull a card for the Five of Wands. I've got the World card, so you've got two World cards here. Okay. I'm going to pull one more. Two of Swords. Uh, two of Swords can be about weighing something up. You don't really have full clarity. Again, it's interesting because it's the moon in Libra where you don't have clarity. And then obviously with the Queen of Swords, there's a new clarity that you're getting. Um, it might be from a Libra, actually. It's not limited to that. But for some of you, it feels um, there could be a Libra of influence in your life this week. The... Five of Wands with the World card is interesting because in one sense this can be about there is a completion coming, the struggle is over, the conflict is over, stepping through to a new phase of your life and maybe making a decision to do that. Sometimes this can be about difficult decisions. Um, but it also feels, if it's to do with money, career, finances, because we have the Nine of Pentacles here, it, it feels in this situation... If you've been competing for something, this is a card of winning. Um, there's a win here. And even though you don't see it here, because certainly with that two of swords, you feel a bit stuck. There is hidden blessings. You're being watched over by God, the universe, the divine. This is a card of surrender. Everything will become clear, even though you don't have the clarity yet. It definitely feels in this situation, Cancer, something is happening here. I mean, I could read this as a general reading. I could read this in terms of love, romance, relationships, where you might be deciding, making some kind of difficult decision. There's been conflict. It's been a difficult... Um, there's been, it's brought difficulty, this, this conflict, and you might be making some kind of or considering making a difficult decision to complete something, to bring something to a close and step into a new phase of your life. You know, the Nine of Pentacles can be a card of independence. Um, and certainly with that Queen of Swords, she can bring that sword down and cut cords. But at the same time, if it's to do with money, career, finances, this is about the competition, even though you don't see it and feel a bit stuck, you don't know how something's going to unfold, there is a win here. And that's what Spirit is telling you. And you, you're receiving hidden blessings. Um, this is a card of, you know, things going on behind the scenes, even though you don't see the big picture the universe does. And, you know, the star in your challenge position is everything will become clear. It's a clarity energy. It's a card of Aquarius. So I definitely feel in this energy, you know, whatever resonates for you. Um, those are the two kind of messages and strands that I'm definitely picking up on this week. Um, there could be somebody reaching out to you, offering something, something, you know, uh, you know, and this journey is a divine nudge card. It's something that you need to consider. Now, your cancer, this is you, the queen of cups, you know, it's a card of cancer. So this is about going into your quiet space, giving something some deep thought and deciding whether it's for you or not. Um, that could be in terms of love, romance, relationships. It could also be in terms of money and career. I mean, you know, the world card is worldly success. So for some of you, it definitely feels in this situation a very lovely thing here. Um, again, that Queen of Cups is very intuitive, very connected to a heart very connected to what brings her joy and will make calculated decisions, choices, you know, on what will bring her happiness and joy and, and so on. But she has a lid on her emotions. She is, you know, somebody who is very contained within herself, you know, and she'll only, I mean, she is a card of self-love as well. She will only take the offer of that which is going to enrich her life, you know, it's definitely that kind of energy. So for some of you, it, it feels that there is some maybe offer, opportunity being offered to you here, um, expression, gesture, call it what you will. Uh, but it definitely feels you're giving some deep thought to it because the judgment can be about making a judgment call. Yeah. And again, this two of swords, the twos can, can represent two 
two paths um, where you're in two minds about something and it might well be for some of you you know whether do I go in this direction or do I go in that direction and it can be in terms of money career it can be in terms of love romance relationships so I definitely feel in this energy the judgment call is how do I step into my light how do I want to um, see my life moving forward you know it can represent a call to action um, something that something is requiring you to act so it might well be in this situation a decision is needed but there is something happening this week which is requiring you to act make a judgment call and it could well be to do with somebody reaching out either in terms of love can also be in terms of money um, so I've kind of explained I mean the Queen of Swords like I said is somebody who sees the truth of the situation and she is somebody who always likes to have balance in her life and anything that disturbs the balance you know she's very good at bringing that sword down and cutting away that which doesn't serve her anymore she's very uh, a calculated quite a, a factual clear visioned crystal clear energy of you know this is how I see the situation and this is how I need to move forward now for some of you it could be a queen of swords is influential in bringing monetary gain into your life you know the nine of, of pentacles with the world card it can be to do with worldly success it's male or female energy um, but like I said there is a win here there is a win here for some of you very good in terms of money career finances like I said this can also be an energy of independence um, I know my worth I know what I deserve and this is the decision this is the judgment call I'm making for me it can be in terms of love romance relationships whatever resonates with you cancer so I love the energy I mean the the nine of pentacles energy just to add is somebody whatever the situation is this is somebody who knows their self-worth who owns their self-esteem um, who feels pretty good in their situation in whatever context this is um, it's an abundant energy of, of not feeling lack or feeling financially and materially secure um, there's material success with the nine of coins but it's also a card of self-value self-worth as well so for some of you the world card can be completion but it can also be to do with a win um, and it definitely feels in this situation uh, you are absolutely restoring balance in your life whatever decision you're making she can be about decisions making calculated choices this is the way I'm moving forward she's clarity of mind so where there wasn't clarity here this is the new clarity but it can also be like I said a person I mean you know the reading resonates for you know whoever it resonates for I kind of generally say what I feel and if there are two strands to the reading then it's meant to be that way so for some of you uh, like I said take what resonates so I'm going to pull a final message Yeah, you see, transformation. This fairy tells you to surrender to a transformation in your life that's happening for your highest good. Embrace your transformation. The best is yet to come. Interesting energy there, Cancer, because it definitely feels for some of you that world energy is empowering. It's accomplishment. It's a victory. It's a success. Um, and it's when you're successfully bringing to an end a cycle that is ready to end and stepping through to a new phase of your life but it is the accomplishment the goal the success as well the victory wreath you can see there so powerful energy so I hope you enjoyed the reading if you did please do like share and subscribe I hope it's a wonderful week for you and I will see you next time thank you